In this lecture, we are going to talk about donation management. As a non-profit, you are expected to collect donations from your donors. To do that, we are going to create donation record. Then we will create payment record corresponding to each donation. But then we will also see how we can create recurring donations in non-profit cloud. And at the very last, we are going to acknowledge donations. Now let me jump to non-profit cloud, open a particular contact. For example, Ram Singh. If Ram Singh wants to donate, we have a button by name new donation at the contact level. And let's say for example, he wants to donate $80. So just put the amount of 80, hit save. What Salesforce has done, it has created an opportunity record by name Ram Singh donation on the date on which that has been posted. Simultaneously, it has also created a payment record where the payment of 80, the status is paid. This is one of the way to create donation record in non-profit. Another way to create would be at the household level. If I open the household, if I go to related, say new, we are going to now create an opportunity of type donation. There are other types also like grant, in-kind gift, major gift, matching gift. In our example, we are again going to create a donation. We'll give the name as 90 USD donation. Amount would be 90. Stage would be pledge I'll hit save let's hit close date also as to when you expect this donation to be paid we'll say 21st of january now let's open that donation over here if i look at the payments i have got one payment over here which is unpaid as an administrator, whenever this payment is made, I can go and edit it and mark it as paid. Or if there are any scheduled payments to be done, for example, for this 90, if the donor says that I will pay you every one week, I'll this 90, Please divide it into five installments and he is going to pay every one week. I'll say calculate payment. And then I can say, okay, the first one is paid today. Okay. So now if I go back to the opportunity, 90 USD donation, it has got five payment records where 90 has been equally divided with the first one has been paid. Now take for example, after a few days, the household owner for this particular donation, which is Ram Singh, who is the primary, he gives you a call and say that, look, I cannot pay the remaining four payments. Then you have to write off those payments. To do that, you will open, you will go back to the opportunity will open the payments I have right of payment over here and you're going so it is going to tell you the remaining balance is 72 right of 72 dollars from this particular opportunity so right of payment now if I go back to my opportunity if I look into the details it is going to tell me that payment amount received is $18 and return off was $72. Okay. Now, all this information gets rolled up at the household level. If I look at the account household level, which is Singh household, I can see the last gift amount was 80 And also, the other gifts have been made in past. Everything gets rolled up. So, so far the best gift year total is $1,080.
in case I want to recalculate this, I'll go back and say recalculate rollups. What this will do, it is going to kick off a batch which is going to recalculate the opportunity rollup and show it on the account level. Looking at our presentation slide, we have created donation record, we have created payment record. Now let's look at what is recurring donation record. To create a recurring donation record, click on new. We will say that Ram has pledged to pay 5 USD recurring donation. Sing household. Amount is 5. Open ended is open. That means this is an open ended recurring donation where I am going to just specify the installment period is monthly and I'll say save. Now what Salesforce is going to do, it is going to create multiple donation records. Over here, if you would have seen 12 donation records are created and for each one of them, the stage is pledge. Now, whenever Ram is going to make a particular donation, we can go and change the stage from pledge to posted. Okay. And also, now we would like to send an acknowledgement to him. To do that, let's open a donation record. Over here, we have a button at the donation by name email acknowledgement. And by clicking on that button, the email would be sent to Ram Singh, thanking him for his donation. To reiterate, we have seen how to create a donation record. Then we saw about the payment. Payment could be written off also. It could be scheduled to. Then we create a recurring donation record. And at the very end, we went ahead and created the acknowledge donation. 